In this video tutorial, we're going to add user classes to our website. Now, why would you need a user class, you may say? Well, what a user class is, it's like having a group of people that um, are, are assigned to the same class. Now, the reason that we'd want that is, is maybe we only want certain news items to show to certain people. So what we'll do is we'll assign that to a group. What you can also do is you can make um, content pages that are only viewable by that group and an, an example of that might be if you're an accountant you might have it so your client um, logs into your website and they can view a page that only has their data on it and only they can see it. Uh, you'll understand a bit more once we get in there. So the first thing you will need to do is log into your admin panel. I'll go in here then click users and then we want user classes and we need to create a class name it can be anything so I'll call this retail oh no actually I'll call it wholesale wholesale customers if I could type properly This is the whole, you don't have to type this, but I'll type it anyway, wholesale class. And you can even decide who can manage it. Of course, it's going to be the admin. Create new class. Now, what we do now is now that we've got the class, we then add a user to it. So you go to users. And... See, we've got Bryn there as an admin. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll quickly add another user, just a normal user. So I go quick add user. And I'll call this spinning planet. Login name is spinning. Uh, not all of that, just spinning. And the password. and email address and if you're adding a user you can actually just tick them for what class they're in but um, I'm actually going to do that later just so I can show you how to add a user to the class so now we've got this new user all we have to do is set their class and we set it as a wholesale customer and we set class. Okay, so now Spinning Planet is part of the wholesale customers class. Now I'll just show you how it works. If I go to my content news page and I create a new news item and I call it test one, this is test one's <laughs> summary this is test one's body area and I'll add an image just to make it look like a news story uh, yep that'll do save now you'll see that down here visibility choose which visitors will see this news item so I untick everybody and I tick wholesale customers and then I post the news to the database and now I'll log out of the system now if we click on news no news items at the moment if I log in as spinning planet Oops. Ah, try that again. Now I log in. Oh, did I do that wrong? Try that again. Oh, try one more time. Oh, that's right, my username was spinning, not spinning planet.
Okay, so now I'm logged in. Now you watch if I click on the news items. Because I'm logged in and I'm part of that group, I can now see that news item. The same applies for the other news areas as well. In fact, it applies to any content on your website. You can make certain areas only viewable to certain classes.